When I made my video responding to a viewer's question asking about why so many engineers hate Creo, I knew that there would be a lot of strong emotional responses. But some of the comments honestly had me shaking my head. I would read a comment and I would think, this person has seriously outdated information or this person could really use an expert or a consultant to help them with their processes. And the more outdated someone's information or processes were, the firmer they seemed to be in their beliefs. Last week, I was on a call with my friend Sean. We were talking to a customer and he pointed out something that is very true. He said that if engineers have been using Creo for 15 years, 20 years, they tend to have locked in information from when they first learned Pro Engineer or Wildfire or Creo. And that's the basis for a lot of their processes today. And that's especially true if someone has been working at the same company for a long time because they just tend to have or tend not to get exposed to a lot of new information or a lot of new processes. Their company has their products and they've got a way of doing things. So they might not learn some of the newer tools or newer commands or newer ways of doing things in Creo or even Windchill. And so if you or your team or someone you know is struggling in Creo, there are three things that I recommend that you do. First off, I recommend that you reach out to your reseller, or if you are a direct customer with PTC, I recommend that you reach out to your rep and talk to them about some of the different issues that you are having. Just about every reseller that I know offers lunch and learn sessions where they will come in and they will show you a whole bunch of different things and they'll do this for free. I recommend that you come up with a list of topics and maybe after that lunch and learn session, they might be able to identify some other areas where you could use some more mentoring. Mentoring is especially useful if you have people who have been in the software a long time or they've been working at the same company for a long time and it's a lot more beneficial for them than going through some new training. Oh, and one comment that I want to make about those lunch and learns, one thing that I've seen is that investing an hour of your time can end up paying for itself many times over. The second thing, open a ticket with PTC when you encounter different problems. A lot of times someone will bring up something with me and say, oh, Dave, we've struggled with this thing over and over again for a long time. And a lot of times I will ask, have you opened a ticket with PTC? And the answer is usually no. What has two thumbs and opens a lot of tickets with PTC at the drop of a hat? This guy. So if you're struggling, if you're having some kind of issue, please, please, please open a ticket. And the third thing that you can do is you can let PTC know what you want to be different or improved in the software. And so first off, there is the ideas forum on PTC community. So you can submit an idea there for something that you want improved. And I've had three or four things that I've suggested on the ideas forum, make it into the software. And so one of the, when one of those enhancements get implemented, it's a really great feeling. The second thing that you can do along the lines of helping PTC improve the software is join PTC user and also join one of the technical committees. When you are in the different technical committee meetings, which are held online, you have direct access to the product managers at PTC. And those product managers, I've said this again or multiple times, but they are really earnest, they are really helpful. They have a commitment 
to making the software better. And if you have a conversation with them, you'll realize, oh, wow, I have an ally to make my life better. And one thing to mention about making suggestions to uh, improve the software, just because you make a suggestion that is not a guarantee that it will make it into the software or it will make it into the software quickly because it takes them a long time to plan a new version of Creo Parametric. And so it might be some time before your enhancement gets into the software, but sometimes they're just not able to do it. And I know it stinks. And I've been in meetings at the different conferences, like when they have the ask the product manager sessions and someone will bring up to something and they'll be aware of the situation. They'll know that yes, our users really want the software to work this way, but they will admit that unfortunately there's stuff that's like deep in the code. I've heard them say like, you know, oh, it's line six in the software. It's like, we would like to change it, but we can't change it. So that's why we can't implement this one thing that people really want. But hey, at least you can talk to the product managers and find out why the things that you want to get in, don't get into the software. But on the other hand, I've had conversations with the product managers where they're like, oh, wow, really? Okay, that's that's really good. And they're really listening to you and taking your feedback. So anyhow, those are three things that you can do to try to improve the situation. And so you can either keep doing what you're doing and see how that works out for you, or you can try to make a positive impact in order to make things better. Thank you very much.